The art of cinema has evolved over a hundred years, along with the attention brought to it. And in those a hundred years, we've been introduced to the Oscars, an annual night to honor history's best films. But how are these films judged? Do these awards take away from the art of cinema? I'm Griffin Hall, and let's see what these three people have to say about the Academy Awards. My name is Andy Kovacs. Um, I'm a sophomore and an art history major. I have like neutral opinions on the Oscars. I understand why people don't like it. I understand why people really like it. I kind of do like the Oscars. I have like a little tradition with my grandma. We always watch the Oscars every single year. So like that's really fun to do with her. I know there's been a lot of different Oscars given to different people where I'm like, was this Oscar worthy or were you just do? You know what I mean? Like, I think, I haven't seen Oppenheimer, but I heard Robert Downey Jr. did a really good job. But it was also one of those, well, it, I think, didn't Leo DiCaprio win the Oscar for like The Revenant or something? I don't know if this is like Oscar material, but he definitely deserved an Oscar. Like, there's a lot of moments like that in the Oscars where I'm like, I don't know if this performance should have won, but the guy definitely deserves an Oscar. I'm Jonathan Joy. Uh, I'm an associate professor in the Department of Cinema, Television, and Media Production. I think while I could say like, hey, it's just like an annual time for these people to get together that think they have some sort of like stance like with like social and political agendas. And it's just, you know, it's just a, it's a way for them to just party even more. And whatever, that that's fine, right? Um, that's just the type of kind of society that we live in, even from like, something that has like a high production value or like even a tentpole movie, um, it maybe is still helping somebody live, right? Or like cope with life or something and that you can't, you can't take that away as much as, as we pinpoint a single award show to be like the mecca of, of what this all is. And it's like, these people are just so vapid and it's like, come on, you can't, you can't bulldoze the Hollywood machine. Like there's too much money and power that exists there. But I think the idea of, them as the only ones that can make stuff is, well, that's the way of the dodo, right? Like, that just doesn't exist. My name is Austin Pease. I am a sophomore here at Kutztown University, a cinema major, and I'm also a business management major. I think the Oscars are kind of just a novelty thing to have, you know? Um, I think the results shouldn't really uh, impact anyone's opinions on movies. Uh, sure, it can give you like, oh, this movie won Best Picture, maybe I'll give it a watch. But overall, the Oscars are kind of just cheap entertainment. But if it's on, might as well watch it. I think that there's definitely a few movies that are made in order to get awards. For example, Maestro, uh, everyone was calling it Oscar bait this year. The general consensus online is it's just meh, you know? If you're going to make a movie, you shouldn't make it in order to win awards. I think that's kind of like a general opinion for a lot of people. It's like, if you make a movie, make it for the art, you know, the art of it. Three different views from three different backgrounds, all coming together into the big question. Have the Academy Awards in Hollywood killed the art of cinema? I'm Griffin Hall, and I'll leave you to judge.